Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com, your boy is back and I done did it again. Listen guys, so I just got this message from this girl, an amazing girl, uh, Unicorn. You know, we love the unicorns out here, man. Uh, definitely, I love girls who code, man. For real, I really do. I'm here to support you guys. But yeah, so she tells me, Hey Joe, uh, I'm thinking about moving to Seattle because there's more opportunities over there. It's a better community. Um, also, too, I'm thinking about going to a boot camp. And everything seems fine. And I'm on my way. But I found this video, which is called The Grid. Right? And it's about a service called The Grid or something like that. And I'm just, you know, it's about artificial intelligence, building websites. And I'm scared. Because now... I don't know if I, I should continue with this career. Like, I love to code, but what's going to happen? I mean, am I going to have a job in a year from now, two years from now, three years from now? And I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> yes, you're going to find a job a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you're going to find a job. I can guarantee that. Right, because people are getting so scared about artificial intelligence, guys. This artificial intelligence is not even intelligent. <laughs> like seriously, I'm not even lying to you guys. Um, pretty much the grid is just if and else statements. Right, you choose uh what type of uh website you want. You basically upload the photos, upload the content, and then the content gets put in different areas accordingly so if you have like let's say you have uh four four posts right four blog posts it shows four blog posts if you had three it breaks down the page into three columns right if you have six posts right if you have six posts it breaks down the column the columns in, in six different um basically shows six different grids right six different columns inside of the grid so all it's doing is just pretty much putting if statements if this post gets put there I do this if this post uh has an image show this that's all it's doing the more images and posts that you put into it the more it changes now let's say uh somebody came in and coded this thing right they they programmed it Guys, this thing is not intelligent. It's not like, hey, you could talk to it and be like, hey, build me a website that has a big image and does this, this, and this. It's not like that, guys. It's just a, a freaking program. It's just a regular uh, program that is like, if we come in here, I could do the same thing with PHP or Node.js. It's not intelligent. Stop worrying about this. People are, are thinking like AI is going to come in and take their job. Guys. You guys are going to be working for companies. You guys are, look, I'm preparing you guys to work for companies. I'm not preparing you guys to become a little web designer from the corner who does, you know, a little music video or music websites and, and little things like that or for artists in the local neighborhood. No, guys, I'm not preparing you for that. I don't want you guys to do that because those, those niches are done. You know what I mean? Like if I'm, let's say I have a rock band or I have a, a pizzeria, right? In reality, all I have to do is go to uh, what is it, Squarespace and just create a website that takes two seconds to do. Upload an image, put a little title to it, put my number on it. That's it. I could do the same thing with Wix. Wix does the same thing. Now, you have to understand Wix is not for businesses. Squarespace is not for businesses. Those things are like for like super beginners. Those websites are for people who, you know how a, a friend of yours always comes to you and be like, hey man, I have this idea to build this website, you know, where I'm going to sell, you know, socks. I'm going to be selling socks, right? They start the, the, the website. They put up three socks. They sell one sock out of the three socks and they're like, ah, oh, that's it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to make no website. I'm going to drop this because this business is not going to sell. It's not going to do anything for me. This happens to people every single day, right? So when you, you go to these websites, they help you create 
websites that are simple and just easy to do right but they're not for a business right when you get hired you get hired by a business as a developer you know this are like side projects you know how many people have asked me to build little side projects for them and i'm like nah i just send them i send them to wix and i send them to to squarespace and then there's times that they be like oh i don't even know how to do that man can you do it for me i'm like okay cool i'll do it for you for 300 bucks three hundred dollars just for me to upload their images and upload their their titles and their paragraphs that they have already written so i'm making money for no reason because i'm not coding anything i'm not doing anything i'm uploading it for them 300 bucks that's it you know what i mean now you're a developer think about it like this man think about it like this you are a developer you are a creator the ai it's never going to be as smart as a human being. People are going to say, oh, yeah, but this is going to be so much of machine learning and this and that. Not everything. Right now, I could come in and create a brand new bagel, right? If I ask that machine, hey, how does this bagel taste? Does it have raisins? It's not going to be able to answer me that, right? And the reason why is because somebody has to program it and tell it that, right? So you always got to think about it like this. Somebody's always going to have to program certain things into it, right? So that's going to be your job as a developer if it was to get, you know, and I don't think that's going to happen for now. Our generation is not going to deal with that. It's not going to come. It's not going to come to a place where it's like, hey, man, it's 20, it's 2047. And in 2047, and now machines do everything for us. When it gets to that point, you know how, how old we're going to be? We're going to be old. By that time, if you're smart enough, you should be retired. I'm not planning on being a developer by to the time I'm 40 years old. That's like my, my last years, right? I've seen this done for a lot of developers where they come in, they make all the money in the world, right? In 10, 15 years. And that's it. They're done. They do something else. You're worrying about something that's like so far ahead in the future that is not going to happen. And you got to understand when you're a developer, you build things. So your, your imagination, your creativity is always going to be there. You're going to be the one creating the AI. You're the one that's going to be adding new things to the AI. Right? That's how you got to think about it. Don't think like, oh man, I should stop learning to code because... You know, the AIs are, are here. Terminator came down and, and you know, it's, uh, what is it, Space Now? I forgot the name. <laughs> the, the name of the AI from Terminator. Guys, don't worry about that at all. Like, you got to think about it. When you work for a business, everything is customized. They never going to use something like that, the grid. They never going to use something like Shopify. Like real businesses, they're not going to use Shopify. They're not going to use Shopify. They're not going to use Wix. They're not going to use Squarespace. Real businesses do everything custom because everything has to be customized to tailor to that business. You get what I'm saying? So you are a developer, a creator, the master of the AI. The AI is not the master of you. So don't let it stop you. All right, guys. Listen, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. Make sure you share it somewhere. Share, share it on Reddit. Show it to people, you know. And also, man, listen. Support my channel. Come to my website, Codingphase.com. I have a whole bunch of courses. Check my description. I have the best courses on Udemy. And, like, guys, listen. When you come directly from YouTube, you always get the best discount, all right? Now, just look at the description. Take two seconds to read it. Read the description. It's going to have a, a whole bunch of courses, that the ones that you want, right? The ones that you need. You need PHP, PHP is there. You need MySQL, MySQL is there. You need ES6, ES6 is there. You want to learn it from me because you know I can break it down in a way that you can understand it and, you know, make things that look hard into a easy project trust me come to my website 
All right, guys. Listen, love you guys. Take care. I'll see you guys later on.